Okay, to start off this damsel pattern, it's a very effective uh, dry fly, and what I was noticing on one lake that I would fish is that the fish were more often keying on the mating damsels, so you get two for the price of one type of deal. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with some black thread, and I usually tie this back to front, and so I'm going to dress the hook back to just in front of the uh, hook point here. And now I'm taking some blue round foam. This is Rainey's foam. And I believe this is quarter inch. I lost the package so I can't remember. But it is bigger than the 364. So what I do is I take that and I like to just run it through the flame a little bit and then kind of pinch it so that it gets those uh, edges off of it. You don't need much flame there. And then roll that. And it just creates a little bit more rounded. And then I'm going to just figure eight this right on top of the hook shank, splitting the difference so that they're equal. Now these eyes are going to be a little bit oversized because they aid in the flotation. So I, I was finding the earlier versions of this wouldn't float as well. So this combined with the more petite body is a uh, key to this pattern. Okay, so I've got that tied in. And for the body, I'm just going to use this. It's a Rainey's Damsel Dragonfly Bodies 364. It's a solid blue. And then I just take my Sharpie marker and I color the uh, black bands on it. And I, I want that a little bit longer than the hook shank. And just kind of to match the size of the naturals wherever you're fishing. And I'm going to put that right behind and tie that in, like so. And I want to go back over that a couple of times because I want to lock that foam down into place. Otherwise, it's going to spin on me. So you want to get that nice and secure. Okay, now once that is tied in and secured, I'm going to take my foam wing. And what this is... This is River Foam from River Road Creations, and I cut it with their uh, one of the Stonefly wing cutters. So that's just the shape of the wing. And it actually does a pretty good job imitating the, the shape of the, the actual natural, but, uh, it, which is more tent-shaped, but again, I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this in right over the foam body piece. And I want to make sure that that's in there. Okay, so there we've got the wing and the body. So now I'm going to take some just grizzly hackle and tie that in right in this gap here. Make sure it's secure. And I'm going to do a few wraps. The hackle combined with these big eyes and then even the rest of the foam body will float this thing very nicely. Just a few wraps like that. Okay, now we're going to work our way to the front and repeat. So again, I'm going to grab my foam round piece and make the edges a little bit rounded and tie that in right there at the halfway point. Okay, so we've got the two sections. Now in this last section, what I'm going to do is in order to imitate that unique shape the damsels will have while doing the deed, uh, I'm going to basically just create a little loop or a circle and but it's the same same concept here I'm just going to tie the foam in right over back here okay now before I tie in the wing, I need to glue the 
male onto the female. So this is kind of a forced union. Take some super glue and I'm just going to put it on the end of this and very carefully so as not to gum it up anywhere else I want to bend that right into behind the eye and then just kind of squeeze that in you can kind of push up on those the first set of eyes to give it a little bit more holding area and this foam actually works really nicely with super glue and yeah, once we've got that you want to let it dry for a little bit a couple seconds a few seconds and now I'm going to put the wing in just the same as I did on the back section now sometimes in order to get this front wing to lie down a little better. I don't want it sticking straight up. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of super glue in that joint. And then push that back. And then again, to finish it off, we're going to take our hackle, tie that in, and just create the last little portion here. Bring it around to the front, whip finish and we'll be done. Nice thing about this one is it will take fish on top, but it's also a very good dry if you're going to drop a damsel nymph from it. Uh, in fact, I usually catch most of the fish on the nymph, but uh, this one will definitely catch fish as well. There we go.